Hey, what's going on, everybody? Be Righteous from Identity again. And this guide is very important, especially since it's the only way that allows you to get access to Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. There are two things you need to do. You need to fight Radon and Moog, the Lord of Blood. These are two optional bosses that were available in the original game. And honestly, I never fought Moog before, so this is all new to me, which is pretty sweet. There are a few steps that you need to take in order to make this happen. First, you need to head over here, Lunaria of Lakes, and talk to the white masked individual so he can ultimately give you the Pure Blood Knight's Medal. This is what you need that will automatically teleport you to Mogwin's Palace, where you can fight him and then gain access through the cocoon. So in order to do this, he has to first give you five bloody fingers that will allow you to invade other players' maps. Good thing is you don't have to win these fights. You could just go in there and die. It doesn't matter. I actually died a few times. The important thing is, is to invade their maps three times. Once you do this, you go back to him and he'll give you a white cloth that he'll tell you to then stain with the blood of the innocent. And that area is located within a church. So you can just follow my footsteps here and I'll show you exactly how to get there because it's a little bit tricky. And once you get there, it's going to force you to jump off your horse, so you have to hurry up because as soon as you get there, you're going to get invaded by someone else. And you don't want to travel all the way here again, so make sure you rest at this side of grace because as you can see here, he ran right behind me as soon as I saved. And luckily, I was able to take him out. And this goes into the very reason I told you to use a build like this starting this DLC. This is the build that I'm using. It's a day one DLC ready build, and it's with the Reduvia dagger. Turns out, if you haven't beaten Moog, the Lord of Blood, he is actually weak or vulnerable to blood. Even though he inflicts blood loss buildup, he's really vulnerable to it. Even all of his minions, as you can see, as I'm running through here, you don't have to worry about killing them because they're just going to cause blood loss buildup as you destroy them. So you just want to run past and get to his palace, and once you get there... He is going to be extremely vulnerable to the build that I'm using. So I guess, I don't know, it was probably part of my intuition. I don't know, but it worked out for me. So once I beat him, this is when I was able to access the DLC map through this cocoon. You just interact with it, and then the journey begins. And that's pretty much it for this. Stay tuned for more videos like this. I appreciate you listening to the end. I hope it helped you out. And if it did, like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Be right out.